What does it mean to be working class? Is that something from out of the past? Do we always got to come in last? That's the question I'm going to ask. What does it mean to be working class? Because today you say you're middle class. You can't pay the doctor, your car needs gas. You're still paying off your college class. Watch you owe your credit card is never passed. Still you're middle class this and middle class that. Up a lower middle class till you eat your hat, got the gap on your back. You got a little fat. You're still paying for the chair where you just sat. Is it all over just like that? Who stole a good life? Where's it at? Oh, it's middle class. Just a little dream made up for you on your TV screen. Where Everybody's comfy, or so it seems, and no one ever eats rice and beans. Because in the beginning, there was just two classes. There was the elite, and there was the masses. We did the work. They kicked our asses. Most everything passes. <clears throat> there are still two classes. Those who got it, and those who don't. We think we're going to get it, but really we won't. Those who own the companies and make the big deals, every deal could cost you a meal. And for real, not too many people hold the power. They make a million bucks while they take a shower. There's the owning class and the working class. Where are you at? Are you slow or fast? All you got to do is do the math. If you got a job, you're working class. If you're out of a job, you're really working class. We build the houses, work the fields. We run the hospitals and fix the meals. We make the family and work at home. Sometimes that's the hardest work of all. We clean the office. We teach the kids. Everything around us is something we did. No matter what your color or your your name, no matter the country from where you came, the name of the game is still the same. And if the owner works, is he working class? Got his laptop and smartphone? He's moving fast. It all depends. First and last, if he owns a bodega or a little machine shop, he works for his money and he works a lot. He might be working for everything he got, but the guy who owns the corporation, he could work all day. It won't change him. He might be a nice guy. He might be a jerk. He makes his big money off of other people's work. You can't make millions going to work and getting paid. You need other people's work to have it made. When we punch the clock, he owns the stock. We do the labor, but he gets the flavor. We make the honey, but he takes the money. Because working people make everything. We're the ones make the cash register ring. And when our work goes to someone else's profit, now you got it and you don't got to ask. That's what makes us working class. And if I talk about class just a little more, your TV says we're starting class war, but the real news has come and gone. The class war is always on. It has been here since the day you were born. We just need to know whose side we're on. If we don't know our own class, take it from the poet. We will always take a beating, and we won't even know it. Because your TV is programmed by the owning class. Your newspaper programmed by the owning class, your search engine programmed by the owning class. When we don't know we're working class, the owning class will kick our ass. They get a real free pass because you get no health care, get lousy schools. The TV brings your kids up to act like fools. You get no union. You lose your job. You vote for politicians who think you're a slob because we sometimes forget there's a bottom and a top. Those who got it and those who do not. Better to remember, make no mistake, you're not an owner. You're a Worker, and that's the breaks. And I bet there's nobody listening here who made $10 million just this year. So before I waste any more breath, before I talk myself to death, let me ask you to act on a fact that has come to pass. Your ass is in the working class. And before we get to another day, when we open our mouths with something to say, before you speak and the words are gone, it's good to know whose side you're on and what it means to be working class. Is that something from out of the past? Do we always got to come in last? That's the question we got to ask. What does it mean to be working class? And one last little question before I'm gone. Tell me, whose side are you on?